point. So uh, this one, it is a good omen. Okay. So good omen means what? Good luck. Yeah. So like uh, in, in different countries, you know, people, they, they believe in different stuff. It's, it's not only in India. It's even outside India also. People, they, they believe in some sort of things. Okay. So which is what? Uh, good omen or bad omen? You know, if, if we talk about India, you know. So they believe what, like fish, if, if it's, you know, if you come, come across fish, so that is actually good omen. If it is cat, so it's a bad omen. So something like that. All these are the examples. Now, you were spoken after my heart. That means what, actually, I wanted to tell you the same thing, but you spoken after my heart, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And might is right means what? Um, no idea. Okay, might is right means uh, the person who has power. Okay, you can't say that person is wrong because he is in power. Okay, so you know people they have to accept them. Okay, so might is right. A powerful a powerful person means what? You can't deny them. Hmm. So might is right. And a vice is root of all evils means what? The greed. Okay, the greed is root of. All evils, right? Okay, fine. Great. Now, the next one is see, uh, instead of saying such a long sentence, what we can do? What we can do? We can make it short. Okay, mm -hmm. high time. Like, it is time to do something that should have been done a long time ago. So, instead of saying like this, you can simply say what. It's high time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in Hindi, what we can say, Ab tak to kar lena tha. Mm. Right. So yeah. it's high time. And it, it, it is a formal statement, right? So you, you can't say, you know, it's, it's something having slang or we can't use. No. Even in competitive examination, they will give you some sort of sentence. Okay. So it's high time. And remember, whenever you use, whether it's, uh, it's uh, even if it is related to present or past, okay. You have to use what? Second form after it. Okay. So, uh, so how you can frame a sentence? It is high time you win second form there. That means okay. what? It is high time. Ab tak to aapko chala jana tha. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, yes, so uh, this second part should be in what? Second form. Okay. It's high time you left this place okay it's, it's high time they arrived here it's high time we have started the party means up tak to party start kar lena tha. got it okay. that means we we uh, we haven't started that's why so it's high time we have started the party got it yes okay now okay Just a second. Yes. Okay. So for action, no change. Okay. So here, it's high time you got a job. It's high time you stop fooling around. Okay. So you stop fooling around and started looking what for a job. It's high time he was given a verbal slap. Okay. Okay. Past is was. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's high time you got that car repaired. Okay. So why got and repaired, Riddhi? It's high time you got that car repaired. Uh, I guess got is wrong. You should write get. No, no, got. Like because I told you mean. second second form you have to use. No. Uh huh. Okay. And then repaired also your writing. Oh, why it is so? Because see, it's not it's not you are doing. You know, uh, actually it is it is done. It is going to be done by whom? Third person. No. Yes. So I cut my hair. That means I'm doing on my own, right? Yes. I get my hair cut. Here, cut is actually third form of the cut. 
Okay, so cut, mm-hmm. cut, cut. All means first form is cut, second form is cut, and third form is again cut. Right. So this is third mm-hmm. form, and this is first form. This is first form, mm-hmm. and this is third form. Okay. So I get my um, uh, my hair cut means what? Actually, it is done by somebody else. Right. Yes. So my car repaired. See, hair cut, car repair means it, it is done by whom? Somebody else. Third person. Right. So I got. So I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Um. Uh, it's high time you got that car repaired. Got it now, Suridi? Yes, sir. Okay. It is high time you prepared tea. It is high time you mobbed. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just a second. It is high time you completed your homework. And even in past, it was high time you sent me an email. Or oh, it is high time you sent me an email. Okay. It is high time you joined English spoken classes. Okay. It is high time you saw the doctor. Second form. Mm-hmm. It's high time you went to school. Uh, even in uh, for wars also, it is. It was high time you went to school. It is high time you. you took a bath. It is high time you walked the dog. It is high time you fed the buffalo. It is high time you completed the assignment. Okay, it is high time you joined the, any college. It is high time you reached the hospital. Got it ready? Yes. So can you frame one or two from your end? Um, uh, it's high time you saw, uh, you went to the doctor or you saw yeah. the doctor? Yeah, right. Absolutely. Okay, then uh, it's high time you uh, reach, reached. you should reach the hospital. Yeah, it's high time you reached the hospital. Okay. Oh, great. Up to the hospital, chala jana tha. that means mm-hmm. that you are late actually. You should, you should at least, no, it's still you are having, you know, chances, but that is very less. Okay. Okay. You know, it is high time you lost an FIR. It is high time you go to police. You went to police station. It is high time you married him. It is high time you took medication. Got it ready? Yes, sir. Now, see similar sort of sentence here. So, it means it is, right? Yes. So, it is high time you got that car repaired. Now, you see, ready. Here we are using what? Got. Why we are using got? Because you are saying it is high time. Okay, so okay. next sentence, so next sentence, your action should be in second form. But why you are using here third form car repaired? Because it is done by somebody else. It is going to be done by somebody else, right? Yes. Okay. It is see. And instead of saying it is high time, in short, you can also say it's time. Okay, I got it. Okay. You can also say it's about time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or it's it's high time. Okay, that we have done. High time. It's time. It's about time. Got it now? So it's totally up yes, to you. Sir. You can say it's high time. You can say it's time. You can say it's about time. Right? And rest part of the sentence is same. Like second form, second form, second form. Hmm? Any okay. doubt? Ready? No, sir. No doubt. Okay, fine. So the next one here. Do you want to wanna, wanna mean, want to that we have done earlier? And be become so do you want to become so instead of saying that you you, you can utilize you know you can make a shot and you can say do you want to be okay so do you want to be an egoist you know this meaning egoist right yes yes means person ego means the person who is who, who thinks yes. about himself only yes selfish okay so an egotist means what uh the one who only you know self is self centered and only talks about himself in every right sentence uh, he no, has to use he he boasts actually he or yeah. she okay boast of course he 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 or she is what self centered but he boasts about himself and it, when he starts boasting you know you can easily recognize oh that person is egotist right mm-hmm. yes okay ist means person and alter means what other altruist. So, what does it mean? 
uh, who loves uh, different like doesn't hate other people loves yeah others. so actually altruist means who helps who thinks about others benefits yes you know uh, in hindi we can say paropkari person okay right now introvert and extrovert you must be knowing so yes. ambivert amb means what both like both. intro and extrovert yes both th is unvoiced it's not yeah. for both both, both. yes so ambivert ambivert means what extrovert and introvert person has both the qualities right yes misanthrope misanthrope means what uh the one who uh, hates humanity right so misanthrope means uh, if you have to make that person then you need to add ist also misanthropist mm mm-hmm. so misanthrope means the uh hating human or humanity and if you want to make a person who hates then what, what we'll do what, what we can do here we can add is yes misanthropist right excellent now next one misogynist is the one who hates women yes right female right excellent and misandrist is the one who hates males right excellent very good now next one Misogamous is the one who hates marriages. Right, right. Ascetic means saint. Saint. Type Ex- of saint. Excellent. Excellent. And embittered person means what? You know, uh, 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 the person who is uh, who is disappointed uh, due to what unfair experience. Okay. It's not a you know by nature he is embittered, but due to what unfair experience he became so. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. uh fine so great so, so uh, how we can say like do you want to be you know do you uh, do you want to be an ambivert person okay so i want to be an ambivert person i don't want to be an ambivert person right i i think we want to we we have already done right yes okay great now so if you are using until until it, it that means what it's already giving you you know negative sense right so we, yes. we we are not supposed to add one extra not or something like that okay we can't say like that you see this sentence is wrong why because wait for me until uh-huh. which is already giving negative sense and then person has used what not don't yes so that's why it's wrong so how how we can frame a sentence wait for me until i come all right yeah don't stop writing until i come okay so until i come don't stop writing this is okay because negative is used in second part not with until okay right so here what was happened until i don't come is wrong no mhm so until i come don't stop writing okay okay now uh, we went to bed and slept until morning got it yes don't fool around with matches what does it mean don't fool around with matches don't know yeah that means what when you're talking with a fool around that means what to behave in a silly way mhm so why a silly way you know match, match it can be you know dangerous match box yeah isn't it it can be dangerous so you what do you can say like don't behave in a silly way what are you doing with matchbox okay so don't fool around with matches okay, okay. yeah so so fool around bevkoofi mat karo bevkoof mat banao boss got it ready yes sir okay now uh little bit you know uh when we are talking with a spoken so now this thing we should remember so what exactly you know pronoun is uh the word which gives more information about nouns is called pronoun right like, no, uh, it's, it's, it can be used in yeah please place please of a noun. yes it can be used yes so instead of write, uh, writing you know again and again name here you know noun so you can replace it with the pronoun so if it is mary you can write she if it is you know mr james you can write he mm-hmm. isn't it yes or his her like this okay that's great like like here they changed it you know she is he, he yes. is like this okay 
point. No, I, you, they, he, we. All these are what? Pronoun. And do you remember, Riddhi, that order? Two, three, one, and one, two, three? Yes, I do remember. Yeah, when we do have what? The, all these three pronoun in one single sentence, like I, you, and he. Okay. Or maybe she, mm -hmm. like this. Or if, some, if anyone is plural. Okay. So what should be the order that we have already discussed, right? Yes. Okay, then... Uh, so again, here, okay, it refers to an object. Now, so I'll, I'll show you this table for more. Okay. Now here, so I, singular subject, you, so in you, it can be one person, it can be more than one, both. Okay. Right. So, and third person is what? This is first person, second person. Okay. He, she, it neutral the objective case this is subjective case right okay so i play cricket so i means what subjective case no yes now cricket is played by now at no at place of object what i can write can i write i Oh, uh, no. No. So this is me is what? Object. Objective case. Now you got it? Yes, sir. Uh, is it compulsory all the time I have to write me? No. No. She is taller than I or me? Me. me. No, I. It's not compulsory all the time. You can write what? Objective case. It depends on sentence. Why, why I'm writing here a subjective case? Because, ready, concentrate. So, yes. because you're comparing, you know, you're comparing a person with subject. The person who is at the place of subject. So, you cannot compare, you know, uh, sub, uh, object with subject. Okay, so you have to compare what? Object with object and subject with subject only. Okay. So when you are comparing, it should be subject. When you are comparing it, any object with object, it should be object. So okay. here, here you are talking about comparison. So you are talking about uh, you are comparing it with, with with what subject. So that's why I'm writing here subject, not object. Now you got it. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, so I me is objective case. You it will remain same. He him she her it it. Got it now. Yes, sir. Singular, reflexive. Okay, myself, myself. Okay, I. So, what can be the reflexive? Myself. Um, what is sorry. reflexive, Riddhi? Do you know? No. Okay. So, suppose this is a mirror. Okay, and this is a girl looking at the mirror. Mm -hmm. So, what she can, uh, what she can get in this mirror? Herself. Yeah. So this is reflexive. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about the same person, you know, in a sentence. Okay. I got it. Okay. I do it myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do it yourself. Mm -hmm. He does it himself. himself. Are you getting it himself. In a sentence, you're yeah. talking about the same person. So that is reflexive, right? Uh, when, yes. you, when you have to emphasize, you know, I do my homework on my own. That means you are emphasizing that I do it on my own. Okay. Okay. Yeah, myself. Got it. Yes, sir. Okay, now, plural. So, I will become what? V. You will remain same. Because I told you, you means what? One person and more than one also. Right? Yes. He, she, it. All this will become what? They. Right? okay and so if for singular i objective case was me for we objective case is what us us for you it will remain same you and they will become what them objective case mm -hmm. okay. and plural reflexive case ourself yourself themselves okay now do you remember Riddhi? i told you one more thing extra here earlier Possessive case. Yes. 
So for I, the possessive case will be my. For you, I, I'll write here only my. Got mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. for, okay, I'll write here somewhere here because I, I I have to write you know extra. So one I'll write here, second I'll write here. You, mm -hmm. it will become your. He, his, she, her. Okay, it, mm -hmm. it's. Hmm, right. So for my, we do have one more possessive. That is what mine. Yes. Your, yours, and then his. It will remain same, and hers. Hers. It's. Okay. So now tell me here. When I can use my, or when I can use mine, when I can use your, yours, do you remember that? Uh, yes, like uh, the bat is mine and the book is yours. Okay. The yeah. bat, or I, I, I'm going to make it bag, right? The bag okay. is mine. Or I, I'll make this bag is mine. Okay, so what does it mean, mine? Uh, can I write my? Uh, yes, you can because both of them show uh, like um, they own the bag. No, I can't write my, Riddhi. Why? Okay, so you need to understand this concept now. Okay, now see. My is what? Adjective, possessive. And this is nominative possessive. This is adjective okay. possessive. Now, adjective means what? My bag. So, bag is what? Noun. Mm -hmm. And before noun, what I can use? Adjective. Like mm -hmm. a beautiful, for example, a beautiful girl. Right. So, girl is what? Yeah. Noun. And beautiful? Adjective. Adjective. Got okay, this, I got it. This, you understand. So my is mm -hmm. what? It's possessive, but it is also adjective here. Adjective. Adjective, possessive. My is possessive. Right. My is what? Mm -hmm. Possessive. But, but adjective. It, it is working as adjective. Okay. Got it. Oh. Yes, sir. Now. So, but when I'm talking about mine, that means this includes what? My plus bag. Bag is already included here, noun. That's why it became what? Mine. Mm -hmm. This bag is my bag. So instead of saying my bag, you are saying, what you are saying? Mine. Why? Because bag is already written. So you are saying what? Mine. Noun is already included in it. And my is already there. Okay. Now you got it? Yes, sir. So this bag is your or yours? Which one is correct? Uh, this bag is your. Not not your. Yours. It should be yours. Because yes, yours. Your and plus bag noun. Noun is here. That's why it became mm -hmm. yours. Okay. So instead of saying your, what do you have to say? Yours. Okay. Got it. Yes. Okay. Okay. This much we do have. So, okay. So, uh, what I'll do, Riddhi, I'll start from here only. Means this example only tomorrow, right? Okay. And I'm going to forward you uh, that PDF copy within five minutes, right? Okay, okay, sir. Fine, fine. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.